And now we're following a developing story here tonight. Police searching for the gunman who shot two teenagers outside a New Jersey high school this afternoon. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live now at the scene in Newark. Ali. Christine, the shooting happened right around dismissal time, so there were dozens of students out here who ran for safety, as well as students inside the building who went into lockdown. Investigators were marking shell casings Tuesday outside Westside High School on South Orange Avenue were around 2.45 p.m. Newark police responded to a call of a shooting. We're told officers found a 17-year-old male student as well as a 15-year-old boy who were both shot outside. Authorities say the 17-year-old is stable but in critical condition at the hospital, while the 15 year old is stable. A third victim was also injured while trying to escape from the scene. We spoke to one father who says his 14 year old son called him frantically after running away from the gunshots. Actually present right when, where the shots were going off and in the vicinity of where the shots were being rung out to. So he could quite barely been hit in the group of where this happened. He said it was about 40 to 50 students. Police have not made any arrests. Newark Mayor Ross Baraka says the city will increase presence at the school, while Governor Phil Murphy said that he's been briefed on the issue on the shooting and is working closely with local law enforcement. We're live in Newark. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Okay, Ali, thank you.